and welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are reviewing NYCFC, New York City FC 1, Seattle Sounders FC 1 in the second leg of the 2022 Scotiabank CONCACAF Champions League semifinal. Seattle Sounders win 2-4 to four on aggregate. Seattle are going to the final to face Pumas. We have MLS versus Liga MX, and MLS does have the favorite here, I should say. They are the favorites here, but can Pumas figure it out? Or will, will Pumas figure it out, or will Seattle do what they got to do and prove that they are truly the favorites here? Goals were scored as follows in the 28th minute. Raul Rui Diaz, ball crossed in by Nuhu. Raul Rui Diaz just gets in behind, easy as you easy as you like, and taps the ball past Sean Johnson to make it 1-0 for Seattle. 1-4 on aggregate, basically ices the game. Easy, easy play for Rui Diaz. He scores that in his sleep, and no question there. Basically silences the game or shuts down the game. Nil one at half, one to four on aggregate, but in the fifty first minute, Santiago Rodriguez scores a goal, gets the ball, laid back to him. Tiago Andraj with a great cross in, gets to Tati, lays back to Santi Rodriguez, takes a shot. On a good angle. Puts it past Stefan Fry with a banger. To make it 1-1 in the 51st minute. 2-4 on aggregate. And New York. They're piling on. They're trying to get those two other goals after that. To go to penalties. But they just can't do it. Stefan Fry is a brick wall in net. And New York can't finish either. They don't help their cause. They let Stefan Fry be a wall in the net, and they can't score any goals past him, cause any mistakes. The match will end 1-1, 2-4 on aggregate, 4 to Seattle Sounders. Full-time stats, 17 shots to 9, 13 shots on goal to 7, 60% possession to 40% possession, 470 passes to 257 passes, 87% pass accuracy to 93% pass accuracy, 15 fouls to 10, 0 offside to 1, 3 yellow cards to 2, Zero red cards to zero and four corners. Wait, no, that's nine corners. Nine corners to two. Nine corners to two. So for me, Seattle, New York fought. Seattle, all they had to do was shut down the game. And they let New York have the ball. They let New York have the ball. They said, hey, you got to score the goals. We ain't got to score nothing. They did score a goal early on, but even then... New York was knocking at the door. They weren't giving up at all. New York fought. They knew it was very long shot odds, but they never gave up. Like, giving up and fighting for it are two different things. And you could tell that New York was fighting for it. They were trying so hard to win that match. And I liked their, I liked the way they played. They played amazingly. They played well tonight. I shouldn't say amazingly. Amazingly would be a remontado, but they played well. They left it all out on the line, got heated there. You could say they definitely should have scored the other two goals. You should say any other goalkeeper. They probably do score those two goals to get it to penalties and see what happens there. But it was Stefan Fry. The man amongst men. A brick wall amongst men. That's actually better. A brick wall amongst men. Stephen Fry. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't score against him. Once you let... Scoring one is a freaking great day if you're playing the Sounders. If Stephen Fry's in net. Scoring one is a good day, but here's the problem. They needed three because they allowed that Rui Diaz goal as easily as soft serve. So you have that situation of, well, damn, have to score three. They got one early in the second half. 
They knock at the door, can't get the other two. They were close a couple of times. Again, any other goalkeeper, they may get it. I'd say about a 60% chance of getting those two other goals had they played somebody else. But you're playing Stefan Fry, so... Like, scoring one goal is great against him. Dude's a monster. Like, Toronto got rid of him, he plays him in MLS Cup, dude becomes a monster, and impossible to score against. The dude is the frickin'... I guess Mike Tyson of MLS Punch-Out? I don't know what to say. I can't. That joke fell flat on its face, but... Or that reference, I should say, mm -hmm. fell flat on its face. With that being said, though, Stefan Fry is man of the match. I think we could all agree that Stefan Fry is the man of the match because if he isn't on the Seattle Sounders, New York, the way they played, could come back. Stefan Fry is a freaking power-up. Dude is a living power-up. Seattle, I'm sure they do appreciate him 100%. Like, they would never say a bad word about Stefan Fry. Now, of course... more because of the pain of MLS Cup losses and the fact Toronto let him go. I mean, I wish we still had him. He wouldn't be that good if he was still in Toronto because that's how these things work. But, I mean, hell, a 75% Stefan Fry is probably still better than what Toronto had after getting rid of him. Besides the seven-some weeks of Julio Cesar, Cesar, Cesar. Julio Cesar, yeah. Yeah, mostly. But, Stefan Fry, man, what a player. I can't be mad at this point. I can't be mad. I can't hate at this point. Stefan Fry is just amazing. Like, everything he does is absolutely perfect. Amazing. Seattle, they don't have to do much defending. <laughs> like, yeah, Jackson Reagan looks good. Probably because Stefan Fry's in front or behind him. Javier Arriaga, he could be a hack. Doesn't matter. You still got Stefan Fry. Nuhu, amazing outside back. Definitely more offensive built, I would say. But let me tell you, Stefan Fry helps that Seattle team basically just be a wagon. If they had anybody else... I I don't know. I don't know. And Stefan Fry is at his best right now. Juan Denain over Stefan Fry. That stare down. The first, that stare down, that face off. Oh boy. I can't wait. It's going to be good. Seattle, they did what they had to do. Like basically Stefan Fry is getting almost all the plaudits here. Rui Diaz got a goal. Seattle did what they had to do. Even if they didn't score that goal, they still would have went through. So, Seattle sat down, locked it down, no worries. Locked that match down and got to the final to face Pumas. And they did exactly what they had to do. That's exactly what I have to say about Seattle. Seattle... New York put on the flames, put on the afterburners. They stepped on the gas. And Stephen Fry basically said, no, you ain't. And Rui Diaz said, I'm going to help you and make it completely out of reach. But other than that, Seattle, they did what they had to do. That's exactly my a reflection of Seattle here. I'm not saying New York was the better team on the night, but they basically were just seeding possession and saying, try, try to take it back because you have to score. Which, if you trust your goalkeeper and trust your defense because your goalkeeper is a magician, I can't blame you. I can't blame you. It's better to do that than get hit on the counter three times. It was genius. So, 
With that being said, Seattle deservedly going to the final against Pumas. Can't wait to see that one. With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that red bell notification once you subscribed. Put this in playlist. Share with your friends and family. All that great stuff. Comment on the video. You know what to do. And I will see you tomorrow for the recap of the Champions League, CONCACAF Champions League semifinals. No finals prediction until the day before the final. Because you know how this works. Got to keep some suspense there. With that being said. But I'll see you tomorrow. Had a good couple of games this week. And I'll see you tomorrow to recap it all. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace.